Republican Senator Lindsey Graham was again overcome with emotion on television. You might remember last week he was crying about the uh, uh, pending arrest of Donald Trump. He was on Fox News last night begging people send Trump money. Why you need to send a billionaire money? I don't even understand. But here is Lindsay again. Oh, this is starting to get a little bit embarrassing. I'm sorry I'm so upset, but please help President Trump. If you can fi afford five or ten bucks, if you can't afford a dollar fine, just yeah. pray. If you make 28 grand a year, if you can throw five bucks at this billionaire to help him, please. Make sure you vote as early as you can in your state. Don't risk anything. Oh, now early voting is good, huh? Think anymore. Vote as soon as you can. Pray for this country. Pray for this president. And if you got any money to give, give it. <laughs> LindseyGraham.com. It doesn't go to me. It goes to helping this president and taking back the Senate. Yep. Uh, then he continues and he says he set up a website for Trump. It, it, it's all crazy. Three great Senate pickup opportunities to give us the Senate back in 2024. Three uh, uh, Democrats in deep red states that are up in 2024. We can take back the Senate and President Trump can get a second term to finish out his agenda. There's a lot of love in the streets, but love ain't going to do it, pal. They're trying to ruin this country. They're trying to destroy President Trump tonight. I have set up a website. I don't get one damn penny, <laughs> but I want you to give money tonight to help President Trump. Yeah, he's raised eight million dollars. Remember to help him. What are you donating to Trump's campaign? Are you donating to Trump's primary campaign? Is it money for the general? Is it money that is for Trump's legal defense? Like what? It, what are you donating to, Lindsay? Since this legal garbage started, don't stop now. Seventy percent of the money you give tonight goes to help President. Trump, 30 percent will help take back the Senate to we help him do what? Got a chance to pick up three Senate seats in very red states held by Democrats. And I want to wake up after the election in 2024 with a Republican House, a Republican Senate and Donald Trump raising his right hand, <laughs> swearing to be the president of the United States that we need. You are not helpless out there, folks. Yeah, really a dystopian vision. And if you're saying didn't didn't Lindsay just do this? Yes. Here is Lindsay last week crying on Fox News about the indictment. How do you do it? You take a well, if, if you got a pile of crap and you chop it up 34 times, it's still a pile of crap. It's duplicious charging. They're trying to smear the guy. They're trying to take cases that nobody else would take and resurrect them. This is literally legal voodoo. Yeah. So the grift is fully back and Lindsay is trying to take charge of it. So there are, of course, so many questions here. First of all, if Trump's a billionaire, why does he constantly need money for everything? He needs money because of DeSantis and he needs money because of Joe Biden and he needs money because of Alvin Bragg. And what's the money for? Is it for the campaign legal defense fund? In this case, Lindsay is saying for every dollar you give through Lindsay's website, Trump gets 70 cents and then 30 cents go to some kind of general pool for Senate reelection campaigns or something like that. This is Lindsay trying to get credit for bringing money in fundamentally. And as usual, Trump likes his followers to the extent that they're useful. And he went to them and grifted them after the 2020 election, saying, oh, we're going to file all these lawsuits and forensic audits and recounts. And it all went nowhere, nowhere. But he grifted people who statistically don't really have the money to be giving money to Trump for this nonsense. He grifted them to the tune of millions, tens of millions, I believe it was. And now they're trying to do it again. So my thought is save your money, save your money, maybe put it in a savings account, maybe get an index fund account going, maybe put it in a 529 if there's a kid who at some point might uh, need an education. Don't give the money to Trump. It just doesn't seem like the most useful use of funds. And this is me advising people who don't like me, but I don't want to see you grifted. All right.